Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. Hey, um, I, I have to tell you about the day I had. It was very, very interesting. Uh, first of all, went down to the Notayo, did two acts, which is really cool. So Talitha now has her new palazzo and we have our garage, which is really, really great. So that was all well and good. Um, and then I had a wild hair because I have them all over my head. Anyway, I had a wild hair and I found this ape, because you know I saw the one in the, in the magazino the other day and then I thought, well, you know, I'm gonna look on Facebook Marketplace because there might be a better one. And there was, and I went, oh, it's really cute. It's really pretty, I'm gonna put a picture up here so you can see it as I talk. Um, so I go, okay, where are you guys? And we go back and forth and round and round and I gotta get a truck to go get it and all this stuff. So I hire a truck and I do all that. And they go, we're in Verbacaro. And I'm thinking, oh, that's just right around the corner. I'm thinking Papa Cedro. I'm not thinking Verbacaro. So it's raining. And I've got this big truck behind me. And we're going to Verbacaro. And off we go, up and down and round and round and over the bumps and the washed out roads and the whole nine yards. And, uh, and then we're going up, 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 up. And all of a sudden, you know, I'm following Google Maps. Don't follow Google Maps. But anyway, I'm following Google Maps and we go up and it goes, go up this road here. And it's the crappiest dirt road. Well, it would have been dirt, except it was raining. It was all mud. And I'm sitting there trying to go up and finally I'm up there and here's the hood of my car. It's like straight up and I'm looking at this mud thing going straight up and looking at the hood of my car. And I'm going, this is not the right way. So we both back down the hill, we call the guy and he's like, you know, send me a picture. I'm like, I can't send you a picture. I can't get WhatsApp up here. So anyway, we finally get it figured out and we go and we meet him and he takes us up. And I, meanwhile, my little, you know, the little ticky marks for the gas, it's on two. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, and I'm far away from home. I thought we were going to be in Papa Cedro. So, anyway. so then uh, we follow this guy and he takes us up more hills, more hills. And then all of a sudden it's so foggy you can't see. And I'm like, oh my God. And this is after the hail came down while I was on that crappy road over there. And uh, I'm not going to belabor the point about the roads. You get it. It was a nightmare of roads. And uh, so anyway, we finally go up there and I see my op and I'm like, oh, yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I love it. And, uh, you know, everything up there is real tight, right? So I've got to like move and turn around. And I don't know how this truck did what he did. He was miraculous. And so I'm driving home and I'm on a, like a regular road and I'm like, oh, I'm so glad. And all of a sudden I hear this chunk and I realize it's raining. The windows in my car are getting fogged up and I didn't see. And there was like, and, and who puts this here, okay? Who puts a, a drainage ditch and then a wall above it right on the corner of a, a nasty hairpin turn? And I didn't see it and I went right onto the wall. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going forward or back. I'm, like, I'm not even gonna move. I'm gonna get out and look. I look and my back tire is suspended in midair. I am stuck on this wall. I am, uh, I don't know, what do you call it? And I go, gosh, if I go forward, I'm screwed. If I go backwards, I'm screwed. I'm stuck. And I'm up in the mountains, and there goes the tow truck with my op -ed down the hill. And I'm like, oh man, I don't even have an op -ed to get home. Now I'm up in the mountains, it's raining, it's getting dark, and uh, I have no idea where I am. And uh, oh my God. So happily, like, I have to say one thing for the Calabrians that they are the best people on earth because literally five or six people stopped to see if they could help me. And I was so pleased with that. And here comes the Carabinieri and they're like, Signora. And, and I had to keep saying, uh, I didn't see the wall. Cause they look at it and they go, how do you do that? And I'm like, I don't even know. No, no, visto la el muro. No, no, visto el muro. And uh, so they're like, yeah, okay. Well, you know, I think they were impressed, frankly. I think they were like, wow, we've never seen anybody Shanghai themselves that well in a car before. And I thought, I'm so screwed, this is my new car. Well, anyway, these guys, they, they, the kid who sold me the Ape came down. He's like, what happened? I said, no, no, this door tomorrow. And uh, he, he went up and he came down with, with a bunch of other guys. And these guys are brilliant. Cause I'm like, if I go forward, I, I can't do it. I'm stuck. There's no way you're gonna have to get a crane. And what they did was they took a winch and they took it off sideways and kind of they lifted up the back of the car. And I'm like, I, I didn't even know you could do that. And, uh, and then I was able to just drive and, and I looked and he's like, oh, just a little of your plastic on the side is, is off. And he stuck it back on. He looked underneath. He goes, no, it's just a little scratched underneath. I'm like, it's a miracle. I thought, oh, my God, I'm going to have to, you know, uh, I don't know what. But I drove it home and it drove great. So um, and I filled up on the way. 
So uh, what I found out from the Carabinieri is if you need a Carabinieri or some kind of emergency in Italy, you have to dial uh, 112, 112 is the emergency number. And, uh, and they come, and they come pretty fast. They know where you are. So I was really impressed with all the help and the emergency. And these guys didn't even charge me. I said, please let me pay you something. You came down the hill. And they go, no, no, we're good. They were so sweet. Um, so I got my ape. <laughs> It's really cute. I just have to get it registered and then I can drive it. The thing is like a monster. I saw them drive it around. It's, it's fantastic. So I'm happy to be home. I'm happy that my car is intact. I'm happy that there was no damage. And uh, I'm not driving in the rain <laughs> anymore. I think I'm just going to stay home. But anyway, that's what you do if you get into a wreck or anything in Italy or have an accident or need emergency service, dial 112. And uh, I pray for these guardian angels because they sure came out of the woodwork when I needed them. So I'll see you guys soon and stay tuned for pictures and videos of the Ape.